Oh, it's a kid. We're cock, everybody. It's Ali Lina, Homo Depot. Hi, right, today. <laughs> Look, we um, we're in the Homo Depot because. Because we got to work. That's why we're in here. Because we got to work. All right. Hey, so look. So I'm here to talk about, you know, one of my favorite um, pickup builders. Um, in fact, I have a lot of his pickups and a lot of my bases that you guys have no idea that that's what it is. Um, I was turned on to him a couple years ago. And um, I tried some of this stuff out. And I was like, oh. You know, it, it definitely gives me something different, and I definitely want to stay with that for a minute. Well, the minute turned out to be years. Look, oh, that's my boy Hootie right there. What up, man? I see you still got your 20 on. I'm going to get you a 50. I'm going to get Hootie a 50. All right, so look. So today, um, we're going to talk about this particular base right here. Which you guys see me do a couple videos with it um, when we were gigging. Um, and man, I'm gonna tell you. So, oh, well, let me tell you. All right, well, let's look at the base first. All right, this is the base. This is a BC Rich. This is an 84 BC Rich wave base. These bases are very, very hard to find. When I say very hard, I mean hard. Uh, you can get them from over Japan. I think they're over there, but you got to spend some moolah. <laughs> a lot of moolah. All right, so I just so happen to have this one, and I love this base. I mean, this is my second one, third one I ever owned. And I tell you, man, it's like it's a, it's like a dream come true when it comes to BC Riches. It's a dream. It's my dream base uh, when, it, when it comes to BC Riches. All right, so anyway, um, okay, so let's talk about what I got. All right, so this is... I got an All Deer Pro Z preamp. In. It's not a Pro Z, it's a classic. All Deer Classic with volume blend. Um, I think that's trouble, mids, and bass. I should have inverted them, but I didn't. So it's volume blend, trouble, mids, and bass. And this is an All Deer Classic preamp. Now, what I'm here to talk about is the pickups. They look like Seymour Duncan's, they're not. They're Kent Armstrong, all right? And Kent Armstrong um, came by me by way of, I wanted to try something <laughs> different. And me trying something different actually gave me a whole new sound of my own sound. And so I love Kent Armstrong. I mean, I have been, like I said, I got a majority of my bases I got. You know, I ain't got that many, but I got Kent Armstrong running them. So these are double P Ken Armstrongs. I forgot the name of them, Ken. I am so sorry. I got it written down though, but I just don't have, have one on me right now. But this, the power of these pickups is, is beyond mind blowing. I mean, actually they're so powerful that they actually clip my amp out. Y'all know I got that little LA-12 over there in the corner with no horn in it. And that joke clipped out last night. Straight up clipped out. I was like, whoa, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That joke clipped out. So anyway, so today we're gonna. I want you to hear a little bit of this bass. Uh, can y'all see me? I'm, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. All right. So I, I'm gonna. We're gonna play this bass, and um, you know, we don't really have to demo it because I got everything down right now. Um, this bass has a, a kind of a kind of a P kind of. P kind of neck. I said P kind of neck. P kind of neck. P kind of. It has a P kind of kind of neck. <laughs> I got a, that's a new name. P kind of. P kind of. All right, so let's go to the rear pickup first. With this pickup, it, it to me, it's just it's just cleanliness. You know, you know, I always say cleanliness is next to godliness. <laughs> And that's what this thing is. P bass, uh, uh huh. Which is the front? Okay, so let's start dialing in. Let's dial. I'm gonna do something different today. Is it okay, Hootie, if I do something different? You're just looking anyway. 
You don't really, you don't even really care because you're just looking. All right, so we're gonna go mids first today. I mean, but listen, listen how clean. Let's go back to both pickups. Listen how clean this E string is. And the strings on this bass is old. These strings are old. When I say old, I've been gigging with them like maybe two months. And I mean hard gigging. All right, so look. Now let's go back and let's go to Trouble AD10. See, I don't have to even play hard. I just gotta play. And I'm a, I'm a soft touch. And it's cold in here this morning because we're in the, in, the, in the fall of Virginia. And my hands are cold. Okay, so let's dial in bass at D10. So you got treble at D10, mids at D10, bass at D10. Let's go uh, trouble at three quarters. Now, remind you that that's no horn in that in that amp. I said that's no horn. That's no horn in that amp. <laughs> that's no horn. But do you hear that growl and that? That knuckling, that knuckling underneath. Woo! Do I love Ken Armstrong pickups? Absolutely. Woo! All right, so let's go with um, cause I got the amp turn way, way down. I pulled up the bass a little bit. Pick up. Oh, let's, oh, these things are so clean. They are so clean, y'all. I mean, but listen at that piano. If I had a horn in that thing, or let's just think. Hmm. When I put it on my big rig, it's just going to win the war. <laughs> I may win the battle before I even get there. I just go pick up the spoils. Turn the trouble to three quarters. Check this out. No horn. Check it out.
Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. I'm having one of those moments, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm having one of those moments. Uh. 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 My God, my God. Uh. Mm. Sometimes, folks, you know, when things fit right, man, when the marriage is right, you know, you can feel it. You can tell it. It's all around you. It's just like a, it's like a great spirit surrounding you, man. It's like, it's like a, it's like an amazing cherubim just surrounding you, feeling let let nothing come in. But that's just this the groove of this and the sound of this bass. Woo! Okay, y'all. I'm gonna put it down because, yeah, I don't want to start crying up at this joint. But uh, I just want to thank Ken Armstrong for. <laughs> For making some of the most amazing pickups um, for my ear, um, for my sound, for me. Ken, thank you so much. And guys, Shadakaka! Love on each other, y'all. Love on each other. Check on each other. And believe that whatever is going on right now will pass. Shadakaka! Peace.